Triple-A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Charlotte Knights and the Gwinnett Stripers. Into the box, Nick Madrigal. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The three and one pitch. Lifted in the air to center field. Pache is there and he has it for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the speedy Gorky's Hernandez. Hernandez. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. And it's fouled away. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dean will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now batting, Daniel Polko. Daniel Polka. A 1-1 home. And right into the shift. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Into center field. Line drive base hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. The left fielder. Nikki into the box now Nikki Delmonico up in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike two. not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone but he got away with it two balls and two strikes to Delmonico now here now the 2 2 this is on the ground over to first on to the bag with it himself is Alonzo and that's out number three. Late Justin Dean. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Stepping in now, Alex Jackson hops this one up. And that'll get down for a base hit. At the plate, Charlie Culberson. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Christian Pache. Jackson, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Runner's going. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And it's gone. to the plate now Steve Hamilton looked like he was on that one but it's one and two on the ground to third and the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag now at the plate Shea Langoliers he also had three hits in the win last night The 1 1 home. At the ball. Three runs already home here. Here's a look over to first, and he's back in standing. The 2 1 home. 
And there he goes toward second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Still even at two and two. Runner at second here with one man out. And he fouls this one off. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you've got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And that misses ball four. So that with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Ready with the payoff pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Rutherford is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So two on with two away, and that means Jan Hervis Solarte will be the next to bat. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Ready now, Andrew Vaughn. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Striding in, Blake Rutherford is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Standing in, Chesler Cuthbert. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Evan Skog would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Line drive to left. But this is right to him in left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. So stepping in, Jack Lopez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. The next 3 2. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's around first, heading for two. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The left field. Into the box, Justin Dean. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Dean is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. In the dirt. Throw goes to third. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Now the three and two pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Rutherford is there. Two down. Right now is the designated hitter, Alex Jackson. He reached on a single in his first try. One and two. Here it comes. 
And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Vaughn will put this one away, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Evan Skog, and they'll need him to get something going here. The 3 1. A bouncer up the middle, scooped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Striding into the box, Jason Irizarry. Jason Irizarry. One and one, here it comes. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Got him in the chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Solarte's got it on to first, and there were two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. The 2-1 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pache is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of the third now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Charlie Culberson. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Madrigal will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now Riding in once again, two. Christian Pache. Right. He yeah. hit a two-run jack in his first yeah. at-bat. To two and two now. Bases are empty, one man out. Count remains two and two. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Rutherford is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Stepping into the box, Steve Hamilton. Two out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Irizarry is there and the side is retired. So striding forward now, Gorky Hernandez flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Two balls, one strike. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. There to take it is Alonzo, one away. So here's Daniel Ponka now. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. 
So now bases back. are empty here with two gone. And digging in next will be the outfielder, Nicky Delmonico. 1 1. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The batter, the first baseman, Andrew. So now Vaughn. to the plate, Andrew Vaughn. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Another payoff pitch. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Now that ball's hit well. Deep down the left field line. Headed toward the foul pole. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. Blake. In now, Blake Rutherford. Good idea with the change, but it's 2-1. and one. him up. Langoliers is under it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to hit is the catcher Shea Langoliers. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that one is gone! <laughs> Stepping in now, Yonder Alonso. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Yonherba Solarte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 2 1 home. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded to the right. In time to first, and there are two away. Now with the play, Jack Lopez. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, and no one will track it down. The next one two pitch. Soft liner towards short, and this will be pulled in easily for the final out of the inning. set for the start of the inning and that'll give way to the third baseman Chesler Cuthbert a 1 1 lifted down the line in left and no one can get there it's a foul ball hit on the ground to third he's got it and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away Stepping into the now box, batting. Evan Scope. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Scope. last time. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Into the box now, Jason Irizarry. Fifth Short inning here in a 4 to 1 ballgame. Irizarry. Here's a swing and oh man! Way out of here. No. 
at the plate, Nick Madrigal. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to Alonzo, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Justin Dean. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Hunter Schreiber will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. At the plate now, Alex Jackson. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The batter number eight. Good shot. Charlie Culberson. The plate now. Charlie Culberson. Grounded to third. This could be two to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. So the base is empty now after the double play. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Christian Pache. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Ready for another shot now. Steve no Hamilton. Number he flew out in his last at bat. Steve Hamilton. Now a move over to first. Runner back standing. The 1 1. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Delmonico on the move. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now batter. The catcher. So now to the plate. Shea Langleers. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. The payoff pitch lifted in the air toward the line and right and foul. He's set the three two comes with the fastball but it's outside for ball four. Here's Yonder Alonzo. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven eight pitch a B's sometimes it just comes down to pure execution let's see if he makes the adjustment right here there's a swing and a high drive into left center field Delmonico on the move and he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning Stepping up to the plate, Gorky's Hernandez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hopped up and a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Now that designated hitter, Daniel. Standing in now, Daniel Polka. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Culberson relay to Alonzo, and they do turn the double play. Now next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico. He's one for two in the ball game. Two balls and a strike. Five two is our score here in inning number six. Hit to first. Alonzo is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Zach Birdie is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Ready once again, Yonherva Solarte. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Now at the plate, Jack Lopez. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. To short. And quickly, there are two away. Digging in, Justin Dean. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive. And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. Josh Tomlin is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Blake Rutherford is on deck. Hit on the ground toward the left. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in. Blake Rutherford. No hits to this point. Blake Rutherford. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. His history with Josh Tomlin, he has a three for 12 line. He also has one home run. Smoke toward third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Late Alex Jackson so far two for three in this one <laughs> count moves to a ball and two strikes now the one two right side hit hard and that is through into right field for a single. In now, Charlie Culberson. Liner toward right center. And that'll make him one for four in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, fielder, Christian. At the plate, Christian Pache. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning 
Digging in and looking for more, Steve Hamilton. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Outside, 2-1. 5-2 our score as we play inning number 7. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. He's set. Here's the three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Juki Toussaint has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 62. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it'll be the catcher, Evan Skog. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Jason Irizarry comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. How about it? Standing in, Nick Madrigal. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Adalberto Mejia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 68. Digging in, Yonder Alonso. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Throw gets him, two down. In now, now Jack back. Lopez. The he was retired player. via the ground ball yeah. last time up. 3-2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Chris Russon comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 52. Stepping up now, Borkis Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season. And he's blown several saves up to this point. Hamilton is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Digging in now, now Daniel Polka. Daniel Polka. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Nicky Delmonico. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. 
And another foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Just hung in there on that one. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. He brings it in, and they have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States, but what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd. Makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. 5-2 the final score tonight. Gwinnett jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Ian Anderson earns his eighth victory of the season. Bernardo Flores was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Chris Russon records the save his 25th of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score, first for the victorious Gwinnett Striper, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the night, two runs on five hits, one error. They left two men on base.